Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Super Dan. Uh, three years ago, I did a few videos on how to build a homemade uh, drone. That was almost exactly three years ago. You can see those videos here on my channel. I did a few actually showing uh, different uh, steps in the, uh, in the build of a uh, drone. So uh, I used the uh, D, uh, DJI 450, the F450 frame, but I actually bought the uh, the uh, like a copy of it. It's a Q450 from Hobby King. Uh, this is only twenty dollars, so I bought two basically, so I would have spares. So first of all, I'd like to give you an idea of the finished drone. So since my videos of three years ago, I did add quite a few things on the drone, and I did change also the uh, the flight controller. So to have an idea of first of all of the the scale, this is a kind of coat here, so you can see the size of this drone. It's a big drone. It weighs about uh, 3 pounds or uh, 1.3 uh, kilos. You can also uh, compare the size with my uh, Nano QX. This is the Nano QX here. And also the Traxxas uh, Elias. Latrax Elias, I should say. So that gives you an idea of the size. So it's a fairly big drone. I also added, as you can see here, some legs. Let me remove these. And uh, before you wonder what this is here, these are not chained, they're just um, uh, tie wraps put together. I was getting uh, too much vibration before takeoff because this is quite flexible here. So to minimize uh, vibrations, I attach the top to the bottom, as you can see. So huge improvement. In stability before takeoff. Once you take off, there is of course no vibration. It was just before takeoff. So in this build, originally I had a uh, Hobby King uh, KK 2.1 controller, which is this thing over here. So this is what I used when I built this drone three years ago. But after that, I wanted a, a GPS to be able to program return home. So I switched to a NASA light as you can see here, the white and red box, that a, that's the NASA light with the GPS uh, uh, kit. So the GPS is, is here in the back. So uh, I wanted to have, like I said, a return home uh, function. Also, I installed the uh, Spectrum receiver. Uh, I needed seven channels for expansions because I knew I would add the telemetry. And I did add, uh, here you can see the Spectrum TM1000 module. So to that, I attach an altimeter and a temperature sensor. So when I go, uh, when I go high, I like to see the, the difference in temperature. So today, you can get actually a Spectrum AR7350 that has telemetry included. So you don't have to have a separate module like I have here in, the, in this case. Also, I never installed a gimbal because I wanted this to be like a cheap uh, homemade uh, drone. So uh, what I'm using here is a um, Mobius camera, just attached with Velcro to the back. And when I want to, um, to do videos at 90 degrees, like a, a bird's eye view, then I have a bracket here in the back where I can attach the Mobius camera here in the back. So for the build, like I said three years ago, I used the Sunny Sky motors. Very, I'm very, very happy with them. I bought five to have a spare. So this is, a, this is the, the kit here. It comes with a lot of uh, goodies that, uh, that you need. And I used, I did a lot of research back then for like a good, um, a good ESC. And, um, the best choice at the time was the Afro 30 amps ESC, which is this thing here. I also bought five to have a spare. So this is the Afro ESC 30 amps. Um, all this stuff three years ago was only available from China. The CineSky motor, the uh, ESC, uh, the frame, the legs. But uh, today you can check on Amazon, for example, and Amazon carries all of these parts, which is very nice. Now for this big drone, I use a uh, Nanotech 3.3 amps hour uh, battery. With this, 
I get a flight time of about, well, not about, but maximum of 10, 10 minutes. So the, like I said, the drone is quite heavy, three pounds. Uh, so this is it basically um, for the build. I'm quite happy with the frame. It's very resistant. I only had like a couple of crashes, nothing too serious. Uh, one time I did break a, uh, a prop, so I had to change it. But I mean, this is very, very sturdy. It's a very, very well-made uh, frame. To uh, help with um, orientation, I also uh, added uh, LEDs on the side. You can see them here, LEDs here on the side. So white for the white arms and red right there for the, uh, the red arms. So just to help with orientation. So in, the, in my case, in my build, I decided to have red for the back and white for the front. So I'm going to install a battery and I'll just show you how, um, how bright these LEDs are. Okay, I just uh, plugged in my battery. Now you can see here, they are very, very bright LEDs. So like I said, I did white in the front. And now if we look at the back, we have red in the back, right there. So very bright, very bright. The red doesn't show as bright on the video, but in person, it's actually very bright. So this is it, guys. I thought I would just show you the, uh, after three years, I'm still flying this drone. It's very, uh, very nice. Actually, I use it to practice before I buy something better, like maybe a Mavic Pro. We'll see, but um, I'm very happy with my build. So I hope I was able to help you guys if you want to build one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a question at the bottom. I usually answer all the questions I get, so uh, don't hesitate. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day.